So I'm going to show you some uh, technical features uniquely on VeChain, which is really uh, user-friendly for enterprises. The first one is we call multi-payment, multi-party payment protocols. So we call MPP, which is pretty simple. <laughs> so right now, if you want to either pay some uh, like crypto assets or tokens to someone, you got to you own your assets. Or if you want to run a smart contract, you have to have some crypto assets, whatever VET or VSOR, right? So we design here is we create what we call sponsor. So if I wanted, if, for example, you wanted to execute a smart contract, but you say, I don't have a crypto assets, which right now is a situation for most of enterprises. Because enterprise, lack of regulation or legislation, they cannot own the crypto assets. So how are you going to do? You can choose me as a blockchain startup, be your sponsor. So you link your smart contract address to my sponsor address. So whatever you use, I pay for that. For sure, we can set up some kind of like monthly threshold or weekly limits, and we can do the offline settlement. So by doing that, we kind of kill the barriers. For now, you know, enterprise are able to build up application very easily on this. As a matter of fact, there are several use cases we have done with different enterprises, including BMW is doing like this. So it's MPP, it's like a third party payment uh, in a crypto, okay? So that's the first one. And second one, we call multi-task transactions. So we have a different model, let's say enriched transaction model. Right now, in most of the blockchain networks, if you wanna pay the transaction, what you gonna do? You gotta pay like, I pay to you, I pay to you, I need to initialize multiple different transactions, right? Or you can use a script, but it's, it's a different way. So naturally, on VeChain blockchain, we can create what we call clause and can contain multiple different transactions in one clause. So you can just issue one transaction, but paying to multiple different recipients. That's pretty common in like supply chain use cases, right? For example, when you, let's take an example. When you receive a cut of milk, at your home, and you pay the money to who? You gotta pay to like a delivery service guy, you gotta pay to the commercial guy, you gotta pay to the platform, manufacturer, uh, even a like marketing guy. You can pay multiples. And, or you can, for most of enterprise, you can run batch. You can run in a batch. And it's kinda low down the unit cost of the transaction and make it like very friendly to enterprises. So those two, honestly, I think it's pretty simple, but we are the only one to do it. So that's, I think, for the entire blockchain space, we need more people, not only about the technology, but all like also with business sense, to think from enterprise point of view, to think from business owner point of view. At the end of the day, blockchain is just a tool, right? If these two are not able to generate the value for business, why do you need it, right? 